Hi everybody, welcome down to Carter's Golf and welcome to my video recapping the inaugural YouTube Golf Day hosted by Rick Shields and supporting the Prostate Cancer UK charity. And what a fantastic day it was. So massive, massive shout out to my good pal, Rick Shields. He's been talking about doing something like this for a while. He's been kind of toying with the idea and to be able to put it together so successfully, first time round as well. So big shout out to Rick and he doesn't get my compliments too often. So to be fair, pal, he did a good job. Uh, so well done on that. Massive thank you as well to Formby Hall Golf Club amazing venue golf course in fantastic condition hotel absolutely amazing bar stayed open till the early hours which i am kind of grateful for but also wish you'd have kicked us out a little bit earlier <laughs> the big winner on the day and the reason why the all this creators kind of got together was to support an amazing charity prostate cancer uk one man dies every 45 minutes from prostate cancer. So trying to raise, raise awareness, raise money for, for their, the amazing work that they're doing was an honor and a fantastic thing to be a part of. I'm gonna to have to put the shades on because I literally can't see for squinting. I'm back in Dubai now, as you may have gathered. I didn't do too much filming on the day. I did a lot of filming on my shots and really just wanted to kind of take in the atmosphere of the day. The day was absolutely awesome from start to finish. The moment we arrived, there was around about 400 spectators there on the day. Great to kind of walk into the clubhouse, see all these creators that I follow, that I watch, that I get inspiration from, that. I kind of copy some of their editing now and again and to be able to kind of be in the same room as them chatting to them talking about their experiences of what they're doing on the social media platforms was was absolutely fantastic and that's one of the reasons why the day was put together as well so meeting people like eric anders lang me and my golf danny maud I'm not going to say matt fryer met him way too many times um, a lot of creators like that that are doing so much good stuff at the moment. Golf Vlogs UK, James Robinson, the list could go on. Meeting some old friends, Carly Booth, Jay, um, Brian McFadden. So great to kind of catch up with all these people again. Gaz, Jody Shaw. So just wanted to kind of be in the same room as all these people, have a great day. And that's exactly what we did. I was put under a little bit of pressure. I was probably in one of the top three favorites to win the golf day. Now I knew deep down that I wasn't gonna win the golf day. In my mind, a handicapped golfer was gonna win because I think it's easy, it feels easier for a handicapped golfer to shoot their handicap or maybe a little bit better than it would be for me as a 50 hour a week teaching pro to go out there and shoot better than level par. So I wasn't overly kind of confident. I was confident as other people were piling on the pressure for me, but I didn't feel too much pressure if I'm honest because I, I kind of knew in myself that if I can get it anywhere, anywhere around level par would have, been a, would have been a successful day. I got drawn. First tee. Okay, first tee. Oh, it's a good one. It's a good one. So, all the way from New York, with a huge social following, an incredible successful podcast. Welcome up on stage, Mike and Frank Fanasso, and also all the way from sunny Dubai, and a huge favourite is Mr. Andy Carter. <laughs> Pick the first name and who it is. Well, you actually only do one name. Pick one name who you're playing with. This is who the fan, follower, or guest it's going to be. You're off on the first hole. And you are going to be playing with Nathan Keogh. Nathan, are you here? Let us know. Nathan, come on. Come and see the PJ guys. Meet your team. First team nerves. Right there. <laughs> Now to set the scene, the first tee at Formby Hall is right next to the putting green. Now, the last place that we all generally go before we tee off is the putting green. So the putting green is surrounded by spectators, surrounded by caddies, golfers, and it was a shotgun start. So obviously, thankfully, most people had left, but a lot of the spectators did stay around. And that first tee shot was, was really fun. I actually loved it. Um, we were, weren't quite on the back tee, so the actual championship tee is raised up behind the tee that we were on. So everyone was kind of sat down on the apron and, and stood around the back. And there was a, probably a good 10 minute wait on the tee as well for the, we got there 10 minutes early, waiting for the hooter to go. So you kind of dawdling around with your thoughts and you just think, I've got a three wood in hand because it's not really a driver hole for me either. So three was not the biggest club face in the world. You've got water left, out of bounds right, wind off the left, pushing it to out of bounds. And I'm just thinking, please hit this thing straight. 
Thankfully I did, and it's probably one of the best tee shots I actually hit all day, so I wish that crowd had just followed me around for the duration, but after that tee shot, I then went bogey bogey. Excellent, good start. However, I did this. Yes. That's right, an eagle down three to get myself back to level par and steady the ship again. But to be fair, it was a day of very, very loose golf shots. Ironically, and the thing that I'm not probably most known for in my golf game is short game. My chipping and putting that day was absolutely on it. Great. Oh, yes. It wasn't all doom and gloom though, there were some good shots on the day which is always a nice thing. And then a lovely birdie down the last to send me to the bar in a very good mood.
To sum up, my day on the golf course was very mixed, but my day overall was spectacular. Loved being in the hotel to start with when we did the draw. That was great. That was good fun. Kind of meeting meeting people, people I've followed on social media for a long time, meeting them, talk, chatting away, old friends that I hadn't seen. Obviously, being in Dubai, I hadn't seen for probably around about a year or so. So just kind of catching back up with them. Then making it out our way to the driving range. Lots of spectators kind of huddled into the driving range watching us hit some shots, which was actually really, really cool. Going on to the putting green again, just doing a couple of videos with fellow creators and their their views on the day and just kind of getting some uh, content for their channels, which was good fun. Golf course, always good fun. Spectators, absolutely fantastic. So again, thank you for everyone that came down and also came to say hello. Big shout out to Mike Dawson, the winner with 37 points, one under his handicap, nine handicap. Massive thank you to Rick Shields and Performance 54 for putting the day on and arranging it so incredibly well. Cannot wait for 2020. If I get the invite, that'd be good. And also, like I said before, the big winner, raising money for an amazing charity, Prostate Cancer UK. Great to meet James from Prostate Cancer UK, who was there during the day. And hopefully the, the final total, which is yet to be revealed, is going to be a biggie. I'm sure it is. I hope so. If you want to donate to the day, please do so. The link is in the description below. For now, though, please do follow me on my social media channels. We've got lots and lots of content to come. At the moment, we're doing a lot of tuition videos based around the lessons that I give here at the Pete Cowan Golf Academy, all about the misconceptions and the ideas that amateur golfers have and they try to incorporate when they come to practice and how to kind of get away from those misconceptions and swap them with the correct swing thoughts and the correct movements and the correct understanding of the golf swing. So please do go and check out some of those videos that are gonna be coming in the very near future. And for now, guys, thank you very much for watching. YouTube Golf Day 2019 was incredible. Let's get going 2020.